know how they talk about love at first sight? Well, that's, that's actually total bullshit. You see, you fall in love after you get to know someone. This is a very different feeling than the one so commonly mislabeled love at first sight, which is really just, hey, that's, you know, that's a nice ass. And I definitely felt something at first sight of this game. The style caught my attention immediately, the premise seemed to embody all of my favorite gameplay concepts. I mean, figuratively speaking, this, this game has a pretty nice ass. And I was really hoping we could turn that into something more. I, I wanted to fall in love with this game, but alas, it just wasn't meant to be for me and the Fancy Pants Adventures. <laughs> See, a nice set of features only gets you so far, and what with the platforming, the interesting level design, the stick figures, and this game's like a 36, 24, 36. But after the introductions, and once I focused on the game itself, I found out most of the charm coming from the Fancy Pants Adventures was in fact superficial. Now, as do so many outstanding ideas in modern gaming, the Fancy Pants Adventures originally started as a Flash game. It was so popular, it ended up moving to the Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network. And finally, Fancy Pants Man has brought his spiky hair, expressionless face, and... and fancy pants to the iPhone. The game has a really interesting mixture of gameplay inspirations, all wrapped up in a tremendously stylish package. Playing as Fancy Pants Man, you run, emphasis on the verb choice, through big levels filled with loops and walls and all kinds of obstacles for you to go hardcore parkour upon. Now, Fancy Pants Man is obviously a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, as Sega's classic platformers serve as the foundation for his own, but the ideas characteristic of modern platformers are also well represented. The difficulty, the wall kicking, the tiny character in a big world, and if you like games like Super Meat Boy and Splosion Man, you see the parallels. And yet, despite a the Hall of Fame list of influences, something goes wrong in the execution. Don't get me wrong, this, this isn't a terrible game, but to me, it never got any better than pretty good. In fact, I'd probably sound a lot more positive about the Fancy Pants Adventure if I weren't so disappointed by it. I mean, I expected something great, and I just got... decent. Now, admittedly, one of the problems is in the transition to the iPhone. The touchscreen hasn't done this game any favors, as it requires a degree of precision that's far more easily attained with a D-pad, but it's also the game itself. I just, I never had as much fun as the game seemed to promise. The whole go real fast design concept doesn't seem appropriate within such large levels. I mean, I wanted to roam around and collect all the stuff, but the level design often prohibits you from doing that. But still, it's, it's 99 cents, I love the game's hand-drawn style, which looks fantastic on the iPhone, there are some new weapons and enemies and abilities, and I mean, the game is good, just, just don't expect anything more than that. And perhaps your relationship with the Fancy Pants Adventure will be a bit better than mine. <laughs> 